Hey guys, oh, welcome back to another video. So today I have a special video for you guys. I'm going to be doing my very first uh, box braid tutorial. So I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos lately or recently and I was going to pay somebody to do my box braids for me for when I went on vacation but after watching all these box braid videos I'm like you know what let me save my coin and let me do this my damn self so that's what you see me doing here so I'm starting off on freshly washed hair and then I'm going to be taking my leave-in conditioner which is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength Strengthen and Grow Leave-in Conditioner this is like my favorite leave-in conditioner at the moment but anyways I'm just making sure that I'm moisturizing my hair really good just because um, my hair is going to be put away in this box braid style for a couple of weeks so you know I don't want my hair to dry out and drop off my head so you know I'm moisturizing it <laughs> but I'm taking my my uh, leave-in conditioner and now I'm going to be taking my Camille Rose Naturals what is it again Curlade Moisture Butter so it's like a very thick um, moisturizer so I made sure I picked a very thick one just because again my hair will be put away in this style for a couple of weeks so I want to make sure I put a heavy moisturizer in my hair just because again I don't want my hair to drop out and now I'm taking my castor oil again this is a thick oil I want to make sure that I'm sealing in all that moisture that I'm putting in my hair and I'm just going to continue doing that all throughout my hair And now here I am when it's done. So this is what my hair looks like with all the moisturizer and products in my hair. And now this is the hard part. Like honestly, parting my hair was the hardest part about doing this whole hairstyle. Like when I tell you this was a struggle, like honestly guys, if you guys can get yourself somebody to part your hair for you, or maybe you should probably blow out your hair or have it in a stretched hairstyle so it'll be easier. Because let me tell you, this took me damn near two hours to part my hair. Like, I was a mess. And on top of that, my parts still weren't straight after two hours. My parts were crooked as hell. But I just personally didn't care. Um, but if you do want a more, like, neat uh, box braid style, I would suggest getting somebody to part your hair. Or unless you're a big, big braider and you can part your hair yourself, then kudos to you. But I am not. So my parts were crooked as hell. Look at that crooked ass part. Hey guys, so I wanted to come back on camera to show you guys what my hair is looking like so far. So I tried to section my hair on camera and it was a mess. Like I don't know how other YouTubers are doing this, but I could not section my hair for the life of me. Like literally it took me like almost like two hours to section my hair and my parts aren't even straight. Like my parts are nowhere, nowhere near straight like no <laughs> my parts are a mess but anyways this is what this is what my hair this is what my hair is looking like so far so I ended up sectioning my hair into five sections so the very back the very back has four braids the row above that has six braids the row above that has seven and then now I'm left with the this is the front right here and then the, this is the fourth row this row has six and the front also has six so four plus six plus seven plus six plus six let me let me just do that math in my head real quick for you guys but I think I have about four plus six ten seventeen 23, 23, uh, what is this, 26, I have 29, if I do my math correctly, I have 29 braids. And then I'm using, this is the hair that I'm using. So it's the, um, what is this, Shake and Glow, so Shake and Glow, Shake and Go. It has like three, it's like three braiding hairs, let me show you guys. You open it up there so it comes with like three sections and then so every one of these I did I got two braids out of so every one pack of three I got six braids in total out of the one bag so I have a total of five packs of these and yeah, so I got six braids per pack of the total of five packs of these. And I'm using, right now I'm using color 1B, but in the very back here, 
like these ones in the very back, they're actually color one because they only had three packs of the one B. So I had to get two packs of the one. So I decided to put the one in the back, but you can barely see it because one and one B is like very similar. One is just jet black and then um, one B is like a, like a natural black. So I was like, okay, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. But anyways, so I have this part section. So as you guys know, I did the rubber band method. So I just used these rubber bands here. Let me see. There you go. Yeah, so I used those rubber bands. And I use my Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. Love this stuff. It smells so good. I think I just love it. It smells so good. Okay. And then I also used Eco Styler Gel to smooth down my roots. And then I put the... the um, What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Ice control. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I already have it like pre sectioned. I like, because I want to map out, I want to map out my hair, so I already sectioned it. So you can really see, like, again, my parts, they're not the greatest, but I don't even care because I'm doing my hair for when I go on my trip to Dominican, so I'm actually okay with, with it kind of looking a little. Like not perfect, like a little messy. Like you know, it doesn't have to be like super neat because like you know, it's like more laid back in the island anyways. So, anyways, so I've I already like did most of them, and then I have three left. So I'm just gonna show you. Let me clip. Ah, clip the other side. I have this. So I'm just gonna grab my little bit of gel. Just smoothing it through. Zoom in. God, my face looks so greasy, guys. I just, just ignore my face. Okay. Okay. And if you see any like white stuff, if you see any like white stuff here. It's because like the product that I put in my hair, so like it kind of like gets in the in the rubber band, but it's all good. Take another. Uh... Take a little bit of edge control. See how it's not perfect? It's all good, guys. Alrighty, so now that we have our hair sectioned off, we're just going to take the braiding hair or the Kinecolon hair and we're just going to unravel it from the braid that it comes in and then we're just going to start pulling at the ends so this is called feathering uh, we're going to do this just so we don't end up with a straight edge when we're braiding our hair and now we're going to divide this hair into half like I did say each braid or each pack gave me um, two braids so I'm just gonna put one half away and then I'll, now with the half that I'm left with I'm gonna divide this into two one section is gonna be a little bit thicker than the other and I'm just gonna loop the thinner section over the thicker one and then this is how we're gonna get our three strands so I have one two and three and now to attach it to the hair we're just gonna place the three strands on the hair and then I'm gonna grab my real hair with the strand in the middle um, to become one strand so that's gonna become the third strand and now we're gonna wrap the hair to the left all the way to the right and then we're just gonna take the strand that was on the right side and we're gonna move it to the left and then basically that just created the hook and now we're just gonna continue braiding like normal all the way down so this is what I like about the rubber band method um, it makes it very easy to grab my roots because otherwise I wouldn't be able to on my own and it also makes the braid very flexible um, it doesn't make the roots very tight. I know when I used to um, do braids or get someone to braid my hair, it was super tight the first day. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Um, this kind of feels like it's like third day hair, so it's very flexible, very easy to move, not too tight on your head. So I love this. And it's easy for beginners. 
So we're just gonna braid the hair all the way down and my hair was super duper long. This was by mistake, but I ended up loving it. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys again. So I'm dividing the hair into half. Again, one section is gonna be a little bit smaller than the other, just because when we when we um, add our hair in, we don't want the braid to be too thick, which is why we section it off to be a little bit smaller. Anyways, so the strand on the left goes to the right. The strand on the right goes to the left. And then after that, we already hooked it on, and now we're just gonna continue braiding like normal. All the way down. I know it's not the best angle, guys, but I tried my very best to show you guys in detail what I'm doing. So hopefully this does help. Now we're just going to continue braiding all the way down. And I did again, I did not mean to make my braids this long, guys. It just, I didn't want to cut the hair in half. And then I ended up not cutting it in half and then ended up being too long. But it's all good. I love these braids. It was a big hit in Dominican. Everyone loved them. I got so many compliments on them. I got people even asking me to do their braids, which I will not be doing, guys, because this style took me six hours to do. Granted, two hours of it was me just parting my hair, but still, I would not do this on anybody else because it was a hassle, I will say. But I end up loving them. But anyways, I'm going to take my coconut oil. I'm just going to rub it throughout my scalp just because I don't want to end up with a dry scalp because I already have a really dry scalp and I am not about that life. And this is pretty much it. After this, you're just going to dip your hair or your ends into hot water, boiling hot water, just so we can seal the ends. And after that, you're pretty much done. Like I did say, this style took me about six hours. Again, two hours of it was just me parting my hair. And also because I'm slow, if you are fast braided, this will definitely not take you this long. But I love these braids, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.